All right, good evening, folks. Welcome to today's um, uh, little video we're going to do here. Uh, I know it's been a while. It's been about six weeks since we've done our videos. And uh, uh, so we're going to start it off uh, right now uh, with simply I want to uh, show everyone who won our last tournament. Now, I know everyone that participated already knows the winner, but I would just like to do this little winner announcement video, but we will begin this week a brand new tournament. So what I'm going to do in this little video is I'm going to announce uh, the winner of the video and uh, kind of uh, talk about the winner a little bit, and then I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into what the new tournament is that we're starting this week. Okay, so, <clears throat> so that being said, folks, um, uh, we ended out the year 2020 with doing our fourth tournament, um, and it was called, as you can see on the board here, the most inspirational unnamed person of the Bible, okay? The Bible doesn't give us their names, and it was a very exciting tournament. Uh, these are very special people. We just don't know who their name, what their names are. But we wound up coming to the championship video back, I think we filmed it on December 21st, uh, the week of Christmas. And as you can see over here, the championship video came down to the number one ranked person, the widow lady with two mites, if you remember her story of Jesus saying she gave more than they all. And then the number two ranked person, the thief on the cross. Folks, this was the first time in our videos that the championship came down to the number one and number two ranked people. So this was a, a, a big championship, okay? So without any uh, further uh, delaying this, I wanna go ahead and make the announcement of the winner so the winner of this championship is going to be the thief on the cross 60 percent of the votes went to the thief on the cross 40 percent went to the widow lady with the two mites so folks, if you look in the middle of the board here, the most inspirational, unnamed person of the Bible. We did this whole tournament. We voted on which person inspires us more, okay? It's not a matter of who is the greatest. It's simply which story touches our heart more. And the votes are now over. The winner is the thief on the cross. Amen. All right. So just to remind everyone, I know it's been about five or six weeks ago now, just to remind everyone of how the thief on the cross won the tournament. Um, Here's a couple of things that we learned about him throughout the tournament, okay? We learned that he um, uh, not only did he give his heart to Jesus at Mount Calvary, but he, uh, he at Mount Calvary, he showed a concern for other people. He had a burden for souls, and that's a great quality to have. He desired that the other thief dying on the cross come to know Jesus too. And he also, I think, was speaking for everyone there that day to hear his words. He became an instant soul winner for Jesus. Um, we, we see him defending Jesus uh, as people were mocking Jesus and, 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 and saying harsh things. Even the other thief on the other side of the cross uh, we see this man defending Jesus. Um, so that, that's powerful, powerful. Um, you know, the day in which we live today, we need more people like him 
who will stand up and be courageous for their beliefs. Okay? And, uh, and most importantly, we understand that Jesus died on the cross uh, lonely. He didn't have many friends who came, who stayed with him to the very end. So I believe it was very precious for Jesus to have a friend in his last moments like the thief on the cross. So folks, that's just a few things that we learned. There was much more. You can go back and watch the videos, but that's some of the biggest reasons why he has won the tournament, okay? So with that being said, I want to spend just a couple of minutes, just a couple of minutes here, and give you a little sneak peek preview into our new tournament. Now, if you'll tune in later today, you're going to see an introduction and the first video. I think you'll enjoy it, but I want to simply give you a sneak peek right here. What this new tournament is going to be, I prayed hard about this. Um, I do have other ideas of different types of tournaments that we can do, but what the Lord put on my heart is what we're going to do, we're going to bring back 32 people that we have seen in our previous tournaments, okay? We've done four tournaments. We saw uh, New Testament men, Old Testament men. Then the third tournament was ladies of the Bible, both New and Old Testaments. Then the fourth tournament, as you can see here, is unnamed people of the Bible from the New and Old. This tournament... We're bringing back 32 of the most successful from the first four tournaments back into a big, very exciting new tournament to start this new year. Okay, we're simply going to call this tournament, instead of it being called the most inspirational disciple or the most inspirational saint, this one is just simply going to be called the most inspirational person of the Bible. Everybody is included, ladies, uh, men. Um, you're gonna see some middle-aged men in there. You're gonna see some elder men. You're gonna see uh, Old Testament, New Testament people. So this should be super exciting. And yes, you may have guessed this, in this tournament, you're gonna see four winners. In this tournament, okay, we're bringing back 32 people, but four of them won their first tournament, okay? The winner of tournament one, two, three, and four are all going to be back. So we may literally see it come down. Possibly the championship of the new tournament may be two previous winners. So this should be super exciting. Let me give you a little preview before I let you go, the, the top five ranked people of the new tournament. The top five. Now, folks, I rank these people based on how well-known they are um, and uh, um, <clears throat> some qualities that they possess. And also, now I'm ranking them in this tournament based on the success they had in the previous tournaments, okay? So these are the top five people for our new tournament, beginning at number five. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, and one. Number five, this person made it all the way to the final four of the first tournament, and that person is... Barnabas, okay? Barnabas, I remember from the first tournament, was a fan favorite of our participators. I heard some great feedback on Barnabas. He has a heartwarming story, and if you're new to our tournaments, I think you're in for a treat when you learn about the life of this man, Barnabas, okay? Number four. Number four was the second place finisher of our second tournament. Which means this person made it all the way to the championship 
That person is Joshua from the Old Testament. You remember Joshua? He is number four. Now, number three. Number three, if you can remember all the way back to the first tournament, this was the winner. It shocked a lot of people, but folks, he is a worthy winner and has a wonderful story. And that person is Luke. Also known as the beloved physician. Wow, what a story he has. I think you're going to love getting to study him again in this new tournament. Okay, number two. Number two was the winner of the second tournament we did. The second tournament was Old Testament men, and the winner of that tournament was Daniel the prophet. Okay, the prophet Daniel. All right. And now, without any further waiting, the number one ranked person in this tournament, now this may shock you a little bit because this person did not win. This person actually in the first tournament made the championship and barely didn't win it. Luke actually had more votes than this person. But folks, I've heard a lot of people's opinions. I've, I've prayed over this. And I believe this person for this new tournament is the deserving number one ranked person. And that is... The Apostle John, the Apostle John, the writer of Revelation, the writer of the Gospel of John, the one who it says Jesus loved, the disciple that Jesus loved. So he is the number one. So folks, please tune in a little bit later today. We'll have our introduction of the tournament. Not only will you see the five people, but you will see uh, all 32. I'll try to keep it short, and then we will have a little bit later today the first video of the tournament. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video here. We are recognizing the thief on the cross as the winner of the fourth tournament, the unnamed people, and I've given you a little preview of our next one. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please tune back in a little bit later today. Until then, please take care and God bless you.